She is attached to us constantly. If I go somewhere, she's with us. She's like having an infant for the next, hopefully, 15 to 20 years. Crystal has hiccups after her breakfast. Crystal was found on somebody's pool deck by a pool cleaning company. She was actually the youngest baby we've ever had in our rehab. She did really good as a baby. And then when she was about three months old, she got a virus. She survived the virus, but as she started to get better, we realized she was losing the ability to use all four legs. That just left her legs paralyzed. So she's a permanent resident here at our sanctuary now. You know, despite her physical disabilities, we really try to keep her very active and give her lots of enrichment and make sure that she has an active life. Even though she can't walk around on her own, she still gets out and about. She's a really happy, happy girl. Crystal is moody with me and the dogs, but not so much her daddy. Because daddy loves her. She's a daddy's girl. Raccoons are actually somewhat picky. They don't normally just eat anything and everything like you would think being a trash panda, but she is particularly picky. She was so dramatic with her rejections, and so we were calling it accepted or rejected. Picky. She definitely loves grapes. That's probably her all-time favorite. Accepted. Well, any raccoon, and Crystal's typical of this, loves sweet. Normally she likes sweet things, not always. She can be very, very hard to predict. I thought she was gonna love honey and she was very dramatic in her rejection to honey. She absolutely detests salmon. <laughs> That's one of her most dramatic rejections. Even though she's liked something in the past, doesn't mean she'll like it today. We wanted to throw a big party, make a big deal out of her first birthday. You know, she went through so much in her first year of life that we really wanted to go all out and celebrate. My special birthday girl. She got to try cake. And at first she was not sure about the cake. And I was like, she is about to reject her birthday cake. I can't believe this. But then she came around to it and definitely accepted it and was a typical messy one-year-old with cake frosting all over her face. Got a lot of personality in this little body. And it's been really amazing to connect with people who relate to her as well. We've had people who have their own disabilities who have reached out and just said how much Crystal means to them and how relatable she is. She's definitely a special girl and we love her so much and it's just been really, really awesome to see how much the rest of the world loves her too.